everyone, it's Apari here, and welcome back to another brand new Animal Jam video, and today when I woke up, I decided that today was a good day to just watch some people fight to the death in an arena. So that's what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing another Animal Jam Hunger Games. So for this Hunger Games, just like all the other Hunger Games, you guys are actually going to have a part in it, and I'm going to show you guys how you're going to have a part in it in just a little bit here, but for now, let's just go over everyone in all of the districts. So for District 1, we have myself and my sister Pepper, for District 2, we have Julian 2 and Wisteri Moon, Power and Marillo and Woot Moon make up District 3, then we have Make It Up in 21 in love with songs in district four in district five there's jelly jones and snowy claw district six is gummy unicorn and lilac petal then in district seven is josh craft and my mom is cool and then district eight is slushy 2151 and bruiser for district nine it's twinkle 0122 and clark stacy district 10 is scorm and typical rocky and then for district 11 we have the hacker district which is f man and wretched jungle and then finally this is the part of the game where you guys come in and that is in district 12 where we have fan one and fan two and for everybody watching right now the fan number one is going to be all of the males that are watching and fan number two is going to be all of the females that are watching right now so i tried to get some new people that have never played in the hunger games and this hunger games just to you know make it interesting and spicy and i hope you guys like everybody that i chose to play in this hunger games but for now i want you guys to pause this video right now and first leave a like on this video and then leave a comment in the comment section down below without looking at any other comments so you don't spoil it for yourself and let me know who you think is going to win this hunger games but with that being said let's just get started now so for the people that have been watching a lot of my animal jam hunger games in the past then you would know that the first stage is the bloodbath and it says as the tributes stand on their podiums the horn sounds my mom is cool receives a trident inside the cornucopia pero and marillo runs away from the cornucopia scorm runs away from the cornucopia bruiser runs away from the cornucopia fan one runs away wretched jungle runs away then clark stacy and lilac petal threaten a double suicide it fails and they die oh my god wait why would clark stacy and lilac petal want to kill themselves already like the game literally just started and clark stacy and lilac petal killed themselves oh my god that was legit it's so intense. I can't even believe that. Like, why would Clark Stacy do that to himself? I don't even know. But anyways, up next, Snowy Claw grabs a jar of fishing bait while Snowy 2151 gets fishing gear. And then Woomoo runs away from the cornucopia. Then Typical Rocky runs away. Apari runs away. Then Fan 2 scares F-Man away from the cornucopia. So for all the females out there watching right now, you just scared the biggest hacker in Animal Jam away. That's pretty sick. Then Wisteria Moon runs away from the cornucopia. Then Jelly Jones runs away. And Love with Songs runs away. And then Bepper, Gummy Unicorn, and Make It and 21 work together to get as many supplies as possible. Josh Craft runs away from the cornucopia. Twinkle 0122 clutches a first aid kit and runs away. And then finally, Julian 2 does the same and clutches a first aid kit and runs away. So I'd say that was a pretty eventful bloodbath. I mean, Clark Stacy and Lilac Petal already died. Like, oh my god, guys, that is insane. But anyways, now on to day one. And the first event that happens on day one is Gummy Unicorn attacks Josh Craft, but he manages to escape and then make it happen. 21 sprains her ankle while running away from Bepper. Then Woot Moo, Wretched Jungle, and Fan 2 hunt for other tributes. Jelly Jones and Bruce work together for the day, Fan 1 discovers a river, then Love With Songs, My Mom Is Cool, Apari, and Twinkle0122 form a suicide pact, killing themselves! Oh my god, no, what? No, why did that just happen? Why did I just kill myself with Love With Songs, My Mom Is Cool, and Twinkle? Like, why would we ever do that? Why would we already kill ourselves? It's only the first day and we already have six suicides. Like, I don't even know what is happening right now, guys. Uh, I just can't believe it. I'm already dead. And then Wisteria Moon discovers a cave, Snowy Claw sees smoke rise, in the distance, Slushy2151 fishes, then Pero and Marillo explores the arena, F-Man discovers a river, Julian2 runs away from Scorm, and finally Typical Rocky searches for a water source. So here we go guys, here we are at Fallen Tributes number one, and six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Clark Stacy from District 9, Lilac Petal from District 6, Love With Songs from District 4, My Mom Is Cool from District 7, Apari from District 1, and finally Twinkle0122 from District 9. So there we go guys, already on the first day we have six suicides and six deaths and now here we are on night one and the first thing that happens on night one is wretched jungle lets wisteria moon into his shelter oh my god why why would wisteria moon want to go into wretched jungle's shelter i don't even want to know what's happening in there and then jelly jones thinks about winning scorm kills gummy unicorn while she is sleeping oh my gosh scorm just killed gummy unicorn that is terrible and then snowy cloth thinks about winning typical rocky goes to sleep woot moo is awoken by nightmares power amarillo and make it happen 21 talk about the tribute still alive then f man cooks his food before putting his fire out, Josh Craft tends to his wounds, Fan 2 and Bepper work together to drown Slushy2151, whoa, Bepper and all of her fans just killed Slushy, oh my gosh, then Fan 1 starts a fire, and Bruiser destroys Julian 2's supplies while he is asleep, so now we are on to day 2, and up first on day 2 is that Fan 1 and Julian 2 work together for the day, then Snowy Claw decapitates Josh Craft with a sword, like what, this is crazy, I would have never guessed that Snowy Claw, the nicest out of all people, would decapitate someone, like oh 
my god, Joshcraft, I feel so bad for you. But anyways, then Wisteria Moon hunts for other tributes, and Wootmu, Perormarillo, Bepper, and F-Man trek down and kill Jelly Jones. So buy Jelly Jones, I guess. Then Squirm constructs the shack. Fan 2 thinks about home. Typical Rocky receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Make it happen 21 and Wretched Jungle work together for the day. And finally, Bruiser constructs a shack. So I think we just had two more deaths there on day two. And now here we are already at Fallen Tributes 2 and four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Gummy Unicorn from District 6, Slushy2151 from District 8, Josh Craft from District 7, and Jelly Jones from District 5. But now we have arrived on night number two. And the first thing that happens is Wretched Jungle, Snowy Claw, and Typical Rocky cheerfully sing songs together. All right, at least we have something nice that's happening instead of Snowy Claw decapitating someone. And then fan number two, Wootmoo, and fan number one discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. So it looks like Wootmoo is teaming up with all of you guys watching right now. And then Wisteria Moon falls into a pit and dies. So Wisteria Moon is dead. And then Perromarillo passes out from exhaustion. So I'm not sure if she's dead or not. And Julian too, make it happen. Bepper, Squirm, and F-Man sleep in shifts. And finally, Bruiser starts a fire. So it seems like Bruiser is just a lone wolf in this whole thing because he's been doing everything alone, I think. And now we're already here on day number three. And the first thing that happens is that Bruiser thinks about home, which actually seems like something Bruiser would do in the Hunger Games. And then Pero Amarillo and Fan 1 split up to search for resources. So it looks like the guys watching and Pero Amarillo are teamed up right now. And then Fan 2 attacks typical Rocky, but she manages to escape. And then Wumu travels to higher ground. Make it happen 21 receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Then Squirm repeatedly stabs Wretched Jungle to death with a size. <laughs> I'm not even sure how you say that word right there, but oh my god. Squirm has killed two people now, I think. And then Bepper searches for a water source. F-Man and Snowy Claw split up to search for resources. And Julian 2 injures him. Himself. Good job, Julian. And now on Fallen Tributes number three, two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Wisteria Moon from District 2 and Wretched Jungle from District 11. And now on night number three, a lot of stuff happens in groups, it looks like. And up first is Make It Happen 21, Bepper, Squirm, Typical Rocky, and F-Man Sleep in Shifts. So all these people right here are teamed up with the biggest hacker in Animal Jam. And then Fan 1 receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Pero Amarillo, Julian 2, Fan 2, and Bruiser Sleep in Shifts. So we have two alliances going on, I think. And then Snowy Claw goes to sleep and Wumu loses sight of where he is. And now we're on day number four where Pero Amarillo steals from fan number one when he isn't looking. And then Julian 2 forces Wumu to kill Scorm or Bruiser and he decides to kill Scorm. So Wumu had to decide on who he was gonna kill either Scorm or Bruiser and then he killed the other blue person. So it looks like Scorm isn't winning these Hunger Games and then fan two receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Then F-Man receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Then Make It Happen 21 and Typical Rocky split up to search for resources. And finally, Snowy Claw and Bepper do the same and they both split up to search for resources. And now I'm just going to show you guys real quickly everybody who is left so you can see if you guessed right on your prediction of who is going to win. And so from District 1 to 3, we have Bepper, Julian, Power Amarillo, and Wumu are still alive. And then from Districts 4 to 6, we have Make It Happen 21 and Snowy Claw still alive. And finally, in the last six districts, we have Bruiser, Typical Rocky, F-Man, and both of the fans. So everybody watching right now is still alive, and that's pretty awesome. And now here we are on Night 4. And up first, fan number 2 severely injures Power Amarillo, but puts her out of her misery. So fan number two just killed Pero Amarillo. And then Julian 2 receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. And Make It Happen 21 receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. And then F-Man, Bruiser, Typical Rocky, and Snowy Claw sleep in shifts. And Bepper defeats fan one in a fight but spares his life and Wumu cries himself to sleep. So oh my god, Bepper could have just killed all of the guys watching right now but she didn't and she spared your lives. Wow, she is so nice. And then on day five, the first thing that happens is that Julian 2 dies from hypothermia and F-Man dies from hunger. Oh my god, I can't believe that that is crazy. So Julian 2 and F-Man already just died on day 5. And then fan number 2 sets fan number 1 on fire with a Molotov. So all the girls watching right now just killed all of the guys watching. Which is very bad because now we're going to have like a war in the comment section down below. And then Bruiser and Wootmoo hunt for other tributes. Make it happen 21 discovers a cave. Snowy Claw questions her sanity. Bepper makes a slingshot. And Typical Rocky discovers a cave. So whoa, that was a lot that just went on. But now we're here at the arena event. Which is the event where a lot of people die usually so let's see what happens and it says a monstrous hurricane wreaks havoc on the arena and Bepper tries to save Snowy Claw from being sucked into the hurricane only to be sucked in as well so Bepper and Snowy Claw just died like that and then Make It Happen 21 survives typical Rocky survives Wootmu is sucked into the hurricane and Bruiser stabs Fan 2 then pushes her close enough to the hurricane for it to suck her in so no all of the fans watching right now are officially dead and all the girls watching right now can be mad at Bruiser for killing you because he stabbed you and then pushed you into the hurricane. And whoa, oh my god, we have a lot of people dead here on Fallen Tributes 5, and the first one is Pero Amarillo from District
District 3. Then we have Julian 2 from District 2, F Man from District 11, Fan 1 from District 12, Pepper from District 1, Snowy Claw from District 5, Woot Moo from District 3, and finally Fan 2 from District 12. So now all we have left from the first six districts is it looks like Make It Happen from District 4. And then in the last six districts, we have Bruiser from District 8 and Typical Rocky from District 10. And Bruiser has actually already won the Hunger Games before, so wouldn't it be insane if he actually won again? Like, that would actually be crazy. And I put him in a different district than I did the first time, so I have to say it would be pretty cool if he won again. And now on to the game. And on Night 5, wait, what the heck is even happening right now? On Night 5, Bruiser, Make It Happen 21, and Typical Rocky cheerfully sing songs together when they're the final three tributes and they're not, like, killing each other or anything. So that's pretty confusing. I don't know why they're not killing each other, but I guess they're just wanting to sing songs. And then here we go. Here's the feast, and it says the cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families, and Make It Happen 21 and Bruiser work together to drown typical Rocky. So here we go, guys. The final two is Bruiser and Make It Happen 21, a guy and a girl, both from the first six districts and the last six districts. And on day six, Make It Happen 21 throws a knife into Bruiser's chest. So Bruiser will not win the Hunger Games twice, and Make It Happen 21 is the winner all the way from District 4. <laughs> So let's all give Make It Happen 21 a huge round of applause. And here are the final standings. The winner of the game, the winner of all of it was Make It Happen 21. And Clark, Stacy came in last place and I came in 20th place, which is pretty sad. But the fans actually did pretty good. So all the guys watching right now got 8th place and all the girls watching right now got 4th place. So I hope you guys watching right now enjoyed playing along as fan number 1 and fan number 2. So yeah, now that you guys all know who is the winner of the Hunger Games, leave a reply to the first comment that you left on this video. And let me know if you guessed who the winner would be correctly or not, because I'm pretty curious to see if you guys would uh, guess the winner right. And now let's just jump right into today's daily giveaway. So today, like always, I'm going to be giving away a black long collar in the comment section down below. And this one was actually given to me by Jelly Jones. So thank you so much, Jelly Jones, for sponsoring today's giveaway. And all you have to do to have a chance at winning this black long is one, just leave a like on the video. And then for number two, after you're subscribed to this channel, just click on the little bell button besides the subscribe button. And then check off the little box that says, send me all notifications for this channel. So you're updated whenever I post a new video. And finally, all you have to do for number three is just leave your username in the first or second comment that you left on this video and i will be announcing the winner for this caller in the next video so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video and as always don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button right in the face and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out